Hey everybody, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about the 2006 mockumentary film Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. But before we get into the film itself, subscribe to the channel. We're doing a lot here. If you like what we do, go down there and click that subscribe button, the little bell, and the thumbs up. Let me know what you think about the video. Also, down below, let me know any films you think I should review in the future and what your thoughts on this film are. All right, let's get into this film. So this was filmed 2006. It's a mockumentary of a new killer. So Freddie, Jason, Michael Myers all exist in this universe universe and we follow a film crew and Leslie Vernon as he is basically setting up his return. He is this seemingly murdered kid from this town that the town like riled up and pitchforked and fire you know and they killed this kid in a river and he's back for vengeance. So I just dropped my movie, but I recently picked up the Scream Factory release of this secondhand. I have seen this film before a couple times, but I wanted to dive in because I really do like this, and it sucks that we never got a sequel to this. I know he has tried for years to get this off the ground. Joe Blow Horror did a great little like 10 minute thing on that, and so I really like some of the stuff they do where they talk about unmade horror movies, and that was one of them. We've got some great cameos in this movie, and also just some great casting in this movie. Zelda Rubenstein, is in this movie and I fucking love Zelda Rubenstein. She is incredible. If you don't know who she is, she was in Poltergeist. She's a little short lady with the raspy voice. That's her. She's great in this film. We've got Robert England and a spot from Kane Hodder, which is kind of awesome. I, I wish we had gotten like a Michael Myers in here at some point, but I don't believe there is a like Michael Myers cameo throughout this film. If there is, let me know down below. That would be cool, but I don't think there is. Anyway, so that is what he is. He's setting up this like version of himself and this history and this lore and he's going to be coming back and he's bringing this crew along the way while he's setting this narrative up. He's picked his final girl and that does shift on its head at the very end of the film. We'll wait a little bit before we kind of get into the twist of the film but that is so cool. You know he's using these people to kind of set this all up even though he has set stuff farther in motion than they believe. It is awesome. I know some people don't like that it does turn into like a slasher at the end where it's like, hey, we're doing this mockumentary thing and then it is like an outright slasher. I actually one of the few people I like that aspect because I was hoping, I was like, I want to see Leslie Vernon in action and we do get to see that, especially because we didn't get a sequel. So I know that maybe they were worried about that, like, hey, uh, we need to show him actually killing people because if we don't get this sequel, which is what we would do in the sequel, I don't know. I, I'm glad that they went this route and kind of showed us what he would be as a killer. So it left us wanting more at the end of this. Sadly, we never did get that, which does suck, but you know, what can you do? What can you do? So anyway, I just really like this film. I like the main character. She's great. She is ultimately the final girl, which is what is interesting. You know, they've set this girl at, this, at, at the diner and stuff like that, and they're like, She's the virgin. She's all of this. It turns out she is none of those things, which is actually pretty funny. All of the things that he set up, he has already countered in his mind because he knows what these people are most likely going to do. They know that they aren't going to just be able to walk away when he starts murdering people for real. And so he has already enacted his plan on that happening. So the main girl who's the filmer who is like your narrator throughout this, she is the final girl and he knows this. And so he has been setting her up the whole time and it is part of his plan that she would be the one to kill him. So we obviously see him die at the end, but we know that that is not the case. He is out there somewhere. So the legend of Leslie Vernon lives on. I do like the aspect where they also, kind of flipping back into the middle of the film, where they go to this guy who's kind of like his mentor, and he is also some kind of killer, and his wife is kind of in on this, and they're so proud of him that he's created all of this. And this guy ends up being from Las Vegas. He has his own, like, Loomis counterpart in Robert England's character. And so all of that is very creative and interesting. And it could have grown tiresome throughout the film with them being like, this is an analog for this, this is an analog for that. But it doesn't. It's all just layered in well enough 
that I was fine with it and I enjoyed what they gave us throughout the film. And I'm again, sad to see that we will never get a sequel. I mean, never say never. They did do a Kickstarter at one point. It did not go that well. They didn't fund the whole thing. And I know they have tried to pitch stuff since then, but it hasn't worked. I do like that because uh, like they say in that Joe Blow video, they actually did have some like character development and story developments in that small little teaser where Leslie Vernon is married to the old guy who's his mentor's wife. So that's very interesting. It kind of brings up a lot of stuff there because you're like, was something going on then? Or did he kill that guy? What was going on? You know, maybe she was like done with that guy because he was old news and she's very interested in this guy because she's like, this is the new hotness, yo. This guy's the new hotness. He's the real deal. He's the up and coming Michael Myers or whatever you will. So anyway, I love this movie. I think it's super cool. Bummer we didn't get any more, but let me know down below what you think. I'll link some videos at the end as always so you can continue the journey on the channel. But that's all I've got. If you made it this far, consider subscribing, becoming part of the collective here. And again, any films that you think I should cover, let me know down below. And what are your thoughts on Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon? That's all I've got. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.